Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about all about Bootstrap text utilities. In today's episode, we are going to learn about Bootstrap shadows. Shadows are the great way to place an effect on a div on a card or a span or an image basically anything where you want a little shadowish kind of a look and feel it's really useful in improving the user experience adds a lot of young stylish elegant look to the elements let's learn all about it and the different variations of it this is part 41 of the series and this is part of the bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist I had promised that I'll create around 40 tutorials. Today we are on 41st tutorial. So make sure that you check out entire playlist. I have covered it from basic introduction to some live projects in between and some live coding for you, including every component, utilities, everything so that you can learn and master Bootstrap 5 with me. Today we are at 41st episode and we are learning about Bootstrap shadows. Thank you so much for supporting me till here. If you like my work and tutorials, please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Thank you in advance. All right, so we are learning about the shadows, right? So we can easily add or remove shadows to an element uh, with sh box shadow utilities, right? So basically, in, in turn, Bootstrap uses box shadow utilities to create that. So the simplest way to get uh, started is by adding the class class equal to shadow if you add that you would see that the div has a nice beautiful shadow coming up right so i'm going to create this and we'll see that in hands-on let's go ahead and i'll show you different variations as always i'm going to use the starter template that i use which has nothing here right now so let's go ahead and let's create that so let's say we'll add shadow let's add padding two it's in bottom two say we want a border and we wanted bg light and just say just uh, div with shadow okay let's refresh and you see that it has this nice shadow look which effect right it looks like it's little elevated looks good now there are different variations if you don't want one to start with you can just copy this and say this does not have shadow so you can just add shadow none so see now the difference between these two this has a shadow this doesn't right now same way you can have different uh, variations you can say i want a large shadow lg so now you see it has a little bit of large shadow right now similarly there are other things like you can also use sm that's for small lg for large and none for none right so that's the shadow and then none and lg right so that's the different variations let's see what else bootstrap provides in the documentation those are the things i usually um, tell my folks all right so you can see here you have shadow none small lg yeah that's pretty much all it has so uh, make it feel like however you want so those are the four utility classes we have to create a look shadow like right now if you want to give it a more elegant look make it rounded right like the small curve that looks good now you can add here also and you can see you can make it rounded hyphen 2 this we covered it in some previous episodes so make sure that you check it out um, this is nice little rounded touch right and yeah basically you can play with a lot of different variations how you can customize the div with a shadow effect you don't want one just add shadow none you want a small one just add sm so now this is a small shadow this does not have this is a large shadow right so those are the four variations that we have in shadow that we can use so i'll list down that also quickly for you so shadow okay let me move the no shadow to the top so you can see the difference okay all right so now you can see clearly the difference there is no shadow little bit then small this is large right so you can play with really uh, different things especially when you're using uh, say cards or something right uh, let's say div class equal to card and i'll say div class equal to card title this is a title let's 
some content let's see how this looks so see this is a basic card that is available in bootstrap but we can make it a little bit more jazzy just by adding some padding some margin bottom and finally I'm saying it rounded and I want a nice little shadow not too much big but just a small so see now it looks much elegant much clean much better right if you want a bigger one you can give LG and looks like a much better version of a div right rather than just that so again you can play with different variations I have used BG light you don't have to use it necessarily you can just keep it white or you know um, so just like this right so basically you can play with different combinations you can align them use flex and make it look like tiles uh, again that's totally up to you how you want to play with it but this is one of the just basic variation you can use with either image or with a div with a span or anything right so nice little shadow touch and makes it look much better and elevated look in your application all right that's all um, we have on shadows for this episode um, so that concludes our bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist it has total 41 episodes Thank you so much again for joining in this journey of Bootstrap 5 with me. Next, I'll start with Bootstrap 5 top interview question answer series. That was something to help you prepare with your interview question answer series and especially if you're attending an interview. Thank you so much. Please do keep supporting me and encouraging me with your comments and your wishes. Also, please continue to support me by buying coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Thank you so much in advance. It was a wonderful journey of covering everything about Bootstrap 5. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I sincerely hope that this series will help you in your preparation. Thank you so much again. See you in the next episode. We will start with Bootstrap 5 interview question answer series where I'll cover top 50 questions. Thank you so much again.